on video. All right. All right. <laughs> How's everybody doing? So welcome to Master Spa's weekly live. Um, this one by request was from the water. I did it. I put my hand under the water. Uh -huh. So this week was requested that we do a continuation of last week's stress relief, anxiety relief from the water. So, and we didn't think about this ahead of time because <laughs> this is at like swim spa temperature, although no, no, like a little bit warmer because we're wimps, but it's <laughs> not hot tub temperature, so it's a little chilly. All right. And we're leaving one hand out yeah, of the which, water if we can remember. I messed up already. So you Because we have to hold the phone. You have to hold the phone and, and play with the phone, and now we've got wet hands, and it, it's something we didn't think about until we were here. <laughs> so, But we did place some towels one there and one there, master spas, of course, so we can dry our fingers off. And I'm just going to with my the, hand out yeah. of the water if I remember. S spirit fingers. All right. So basically what we're going over today, I'm, I'm cutting you out there. This is, this is weird from the water. Uh, can we get a comment? Hi, Summer. I see you. That's my daughter, everyone. Um, can we see someone comment if the sound is okay? Richard, California. What's going on? If someone could can you comment, guys hear us yeah, okay? can you hear us okay? So we we always have to wait on hearing because it's usually a mess. Anyone? Anyone? Thumbs up. Sound is good. Okay, Perfect. Awesome. awesome. Thank you. Very good. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna break this down. Actually, I'm gonna swing this around here. Where's the other friggin'? Is all right. This is, this is a little little synopsis for what we're going on today. Uh, hello, Irene. We're going to do exercise. We're going to show you a couple things. We're going to show some basic things that we've been asked. Stretches, therapy cove, neck and shoulders, lights and waterfalls. So basically, we've been asked, you, you know, it's always like, we always come out and we're like, we're going to do this exercise, this body part. And then someone says, how do you connect the rowers? So we've actually sent videos out. Hi, Susan. We've actually sent videos out on how to connect the rowers. And it's, I find it's easier to connect them than to disconnect them. So we're actually going to put the camera right there and show you guys. So we're going to show a couple of things that we get asked a lot. And, uh, and then we're going to go through there. So we're going to go through some of the exercise equipment, uh, basic stuff. So I know there's going to be someone who gets on and says, you know, they want specific uh, programs. Next time we're getting there. Well, we got 60 something people watching. That's kind of awesome, fun. Awesome, yeah. Greg, what's going on? California. Nancy, beautiful. Okay. So I'm going to pass the phone to Mary if she can hold it above water. She's not a tall person. And then I'm going to. I'm literally on my tippy toes <laughs> and keeping my hands out of the. So. Right. So don't, don't dip my phone. Right. So now this is a new phone. So if it does, it, I think it'll film. I don't know what'll happen if it gets dropped in the water. We're going to we're we're try it. not to find out. <laughs> so I'm going to show you Mike Wright, Florida. So I'm going to show you the rower kit on how it connects. And then we're actually going like, to get up close with it. Okay, so I'll flip it. turn that there flip. Okay. Cool. All right. Come on up. Oh, sorry guys. Where are you at? You got me? Uh, yep. Okay. So you have the short band. Can you see me? Yes. And then you've got, this is the side with the handles, obviously, where your hand goes. So this connects on there. Easy. And then you've got the front hook, the front, I want to call it an eyelet, but I'm, I'm not sure that's the right word. Anyway, the connection that clicks on there. Okay. And then this is the part that I think that people ask about. You've got this, you can come up right close to it. All right. Get nice and close. Hold on. on. Mike just said the feed was lost. Are we back? Can we get a, can you hear us? Can you see us? Sixty-four. Didn't I think we're okay. Yes. Okay, Did cool. We, I think Mike lost the phone. Okay, sorry. Okay. I, I, so, I think it's Mike's Wi-Fi, not ours. <laughs> sorry, yeah. everyone. So Ben clipped there and now. Now come on, nice and close. This is nice and easy. It just goes straight in. You'll hear it click. Okay, so then it looks like to release it, can you get over there? To release it, you don't just push the button, you actually pull it over and it comes right out. 
So it's left and right. It doesn't push in, it's left and right. So all it does, and then to disconnect it, that's it. Okay. And you're pushing it out towards the hot tub seats, right? Right. right. To take it off. Okay. So now if you look over here, we actually leave we leave ours in all the time. There, now you can back up so it's like my nose hairs. We don't need to nobody needs to see that. So we actually leave these in there all the time because when they're not in use, they drop straight down and I use these all the time. So I've been a weightlifter forever and ever and these are awesome and I use them differently than when I'm in the gym lifting weights, but these are fantastic and that's some of the stuff that we're gonna talk about today. So the other thing I wanna talk about is this dumbbell, all right? So you've got this dumbbell and everyone has seen the, the dumbbells at the Y, they are foam, rubber, and they, you know, you swing them around under the water they, um, I gotta watch my language, they are not great, all right? So these guys, and they, you can take them apart, they don't have to be this much, I just, I use them maxed out. They're designed to catch water, so if you're pulling this through the water, if you, I can't move it any faster through the water than that, and I'm a fairly strong guy. They work fantastic, okay? So the design here is to catch water. Question? Yep, one question came in about the rowers. Yep. If the jets are on, will the rowers move around? Uh, no. no. They pretty stay. much stay, yeah, stay on the stay edge. Right yeah. So we use, and we're, we're pretty honest about it, we don't use the jets in here for the hot tub purposes nearly as much as we swim. So we're swimming in here all the time. With the rowers in place and the swim jets on, they don't, I don't even think they've ever moved. I've never even noticed. So I'm Every once say, in a while, you'll hear like it hit it. gently, I think but you hear it when I drop it because I use them all the time maybe. when you're running. So, so no, I, I leave them in. I like them in. Dumbbell catches water, works great, and we're going to get to a couple of specific things, a couple of my favorites that I like to do. So, kind of to circle around, this is stress relief, this is anxiety reduction, and exercise is the first thing on the list. We're not going to get super specific in exercises, but I want to show some basics. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my connecting rowers, show dumbbells, how they work, demo a few exercises. So what I like to do, depending on what day of the week it is, what I'm, my workout, I'll swim, and we'll do all the drills and swim and all different speeds and everything, and then I tore a bicep last October, and I'm still doing some rehab on that. So as soon as I'm done, I'm gonna just drop that. As soon as I'm done with my swim, I'll grab the dumbbells, and I wanna take my biceps through everything so first thing I'll do is a standard bicep curl under the water just like that and you can you see kind of see kind of kind of see so I'm just doing a regular bicep curl and th these are all in your h2 exercise book all right so just a basic curl and then as I warm that that one bad side up I start moving it faster and faster and then I'll switch to what's called a hammer curl which is like this so you're, you're curling this way so I'll switch. So I'll do palms up and then the hammer curl and then I'll do 25 each side, each way, and then I'll do palms down and do forearms. And I'll go through all three of those. 25 reps of each of those, you're smoked. You don't need a lot of weight because the faster you move that, the more resistance you get. And it really works fantastic. Okay. Hi, Rachel from the UK. Rachel from the UK. Oh, that, that's Rachel, Rachel. Yeah. Awesome. So then we've got a few exercises. One of the things that I enjoy doing in here also, straight out for shoulders and back, and you can do this both ways. You can do both sides of every exercise with these. So I'm gonna to move to the wider part. So if you take these dumbbells in the center under the water and you bring them back as fast as you can, it's hard, harder than people think. It's hard to see, so I'm, I'm hoping that people can kind so of I'll, get the- I'll kind of pull them up a little bit so you can see it. So normally I would do these all the way under the water, but I want you guys to see this. So I'll go back and then forward. Is that better? Can you see that a little better? And then forward with the dumbbells all the way under the water. Back and forth, hit both sides. So after swimming, it warms up and uses some, flows some blood through all those muscles, works fantastic. All right? Maybe we want to just talk a little bit about how exercise is a really great stress relief. So these exercises are really great for doing in the water to help relieve some of the stress we might be feeling when we're stuck at home. Right. And this is, this is just one aspect of the stress relief. 
We're gonna talk about a couple of other things as well, but just... Um, the whole idea here with exercise is to make yourself tired. Give yourself something to do that's positive. Make yourself tired. You will feel better for the rest of the day. You know, and, and, and I know that everyone here can relate to this. How many times you get up in the morning, it's time to exercise, you like, oh, I don't feel like doing this, but then afterwards you, you feel amazing. So I've been exercising a long time, so the, the runner's high, the you know, endorphins and all that stuff. I don't know if I you know, feel that anymore, but I'm always glad to, to be done with it just to check it off my list, which if you guys remember from last week, don't let anything add up on your list and exercise is one of them. So on the rows, a couple things I like to do. I like to do standard rows, and you can either keep them in the water or above, whichever, all right? I also like to do bicep curls like that. And you have to plant your feet because it's hard enough where it's going to you know, pull you forward. All right. So I just want to go over a couple of these exercises in there, biceps, and then if you want to do triceps, turn your hand around. I always put one down for triceps and push it straight back like a kickback. Works great. Okay. And we'll get into specific videos with this stuff later on. I just wanted to show a couple of things with the dumbbells with the rowing kit. Any questions right now? The dimensions of this swim spa are 15 by 8. And yes, thanks, Mike. We are in the Challenger 15 deep. Yeah. And it's a, you know what? To, actually, that's something that we don't ever, you know, if you, Mary is in the opposite corner. This is the 15 footer. We have people say, oh, it's not big enough. She is nowhere near me. There's, there is plenty of space in here for floats and dogs and anything else you want to do. All right. The water level as you can see, it's Ben is about five nine. The water level is about four and a quarter feet deep. Drying off my hands. And is it good for someone who has had a stroke? Oh my God! So beyond yes, a thousand yeses to that question. Any, the water is the equalizer. Okay. Ben's and famous I, statement here. It, it is <laughs> water. Water is the equalizer. If someone had a bad leg or no leg or have difficulty moving in any way, all of that is reduced when you get in the water. You float, okay? You're, you're, there's 75% there's reduction in impact on your lower body when you run in place. There's no downside. There's no danger. There's no injury. I have to hold my hands up above. <laughs> I have to hold my hands up above the water. There's no downside. So anyone doing any kind of a rehab of any sort to do it in the water at a perfect temperature is ideal it is absolutely ideal okay so for for uh, anyone having suffered a stroke and beyond you just you couldn't have a more fantastic uh, rehab situation um, water temperature is actually something if you're doing some rehab thing like that go 91 to 93 degrees surface temperature of your skin is 92 degrees so you'll find that that feels really good you get nice um, all your all your ligaments and tendons are nice and pliable. Everything works really well. Loves that temperature. This is this is right now is 89, which is warm for swimming. But like Mary said, we, we have no problem admitting that we're getting wimpy. No problem at all. Uh, we like it, you know, pretty warm. So, but for rehab and exercise, I would even go a little bit more than 89. I would go to that 91, 92, 93. It's fantastic. And of course, it can go warmer and, and become sort of a large hot tub as well. All right. Any more questions? Good questions so far. Yeah. I like when we get more questions during, during because we, they always come afterwards. I want them when we can actually talk to the people. Okay, next thing we're going to talk about, I'm going to take the phone, and we're going to do some stretches with Mary. What do you want to get? Um, I think maybe over here just because I might need to use this stuff. <laughs> Kevin Richard, Zach is on there. Uh, let's see. Seems like it would cost a lot to keep a large. This is a question from Carrie, real quick. Seems like it would take uh, cost a lot to keep the large spa at a certain temperature. Is it a lot more than a typical size spa? Um, let's see. Can I see more? Carrie, uh, you know what? You'd be surprised. Uh, they're really efficient, and we do a great job with the icing and insulation. That's a great question. People are always scared of that. And if it snows, uh, the snow doesn't melt off the top of this bad boy. It's uh, pretty fantastic. Okay, and um, people are always surprised at, at, at how much it doesn't cost. All right, so 
Mary is gonna demonstrate some stretches. So now we're gonna get into more of the relaxation. Can you show us what it's like when swimming? Yes, Adam, give us a few minutes. We'll hit that real quick. All right, all right. So I realized that when Ben was demonstrating some of the things under the water, it's hard to see. So if you have any questions, specific questions for us about how to do a specific movement or a specific exercise that you couldn't really tell what we were doing, we can try to get a better video individually or we can explain it through a personal question on the comments. Um, so I'm just gonna talk about some stretching because right now, I don't know about all of you, but the, we might be experiencing a little bit more tension in our bodies, a little <laughs> bit more stress. Um, our muscles might mm -hmm. be feeling a little bit tighter than normal. Um, so stretching is a really great way to start to relax your body, to get some blood flow to your muscles. And in the water, it's a really great way to do that with a little bit less impact as well. And if you have a hot tub or a swim spa, it's just a really great place to do that stretching while you're kind of relaxed. I'm trying to relax even though the water's a little bit chilly for me. <laughs> so Suck it up, suck uh, it up. First of all, um, just to kind of loosen up your, your neck, you're gonna wanna you know, do some um, neck stretches by looking down. And you don't, with the stretching for relaxation, you, you don't You have to say hi to Grady. Hi Grady. <laughs> you don't wanna feel any pain. So just stretch to the limit of where you're feeling a stretch and not any pain. So as soon as you start feeling that back off on the stretch. So look down and then look to the left and then look to the right and just gently to the back. When I go all the way back, I feel some pain in my, in my spine, so I don't wanna go all the way back. And then you just wanna kind of hold each exercise or each stretch for about 30 seconds, just to really get that blood flowing and to feel that relaxation stretch. And again, have it be more of a static stretch, so something that you're holding for 10 seconds or 30 seconds um, rather than a dynamic moving stretch where you're moving while you're stretching. Next, we're gonna do some tricep stretching. This, this stretch here where you hold your arm across your body and I'm kind of just pushing with my hand on my elbow and hold that again for about 30 seconds. This is a really good stretch for your triceps and your shoulders. Uh, again, I'm not going to hold everything for 30 seconds in the water here while we're you have videotaping. To, you have to say hi to my mom. Hi, Connie. <laughs> um, again, just each side holding that stretch there. And again, I'm just, just holding it. And, and honestly, this is, is really relaxing. And then this is another good tricep stretch. So I'm kind of patting myself on my back with my right hand and pushing down a little bit on my elbow to get that stretch, no pain, just just a good stretch. And again, switching to the other side. And breathing while you're doing this so that, don't hold your breath again, just breathe calmly. We have some fun comments going here. Oh boy. Oh yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Um, and then this, a bicep and good, bicep and forearm and wrist stretch is um, just to kind of, I'm kind of pushing my palm here and pushing down until I feel the stretch. And like Ben was saying earlier, he pulled his bicep, so he only does this until he doesn't feel any pain. You don't want to feel any pain when you're doing these. And again, your other arm. Chest, uh, chest and back stretch. I'm gonna hold my hands behind my back and just kind of like clasp my hands and really give a good stretch here. And I'm just lifting my arms a little bit so that I'm getting a little bit more of a stretch in my back and in 
into my chest and shoulders too. And the next one is hamstring. Um, so this one, um, you may need to use a step. And okay. so what I'm doing is I'm that. just, I know it's hard to see under the water, so I'm just gonna put my, my heel up on one of the steps of the swim spa. And I'm gonna put my hands onto my quad and I'm just gonna lean forward into the stretch. I have pretty tight ham hamstrings right now, so I'm not gonna, I don't wanna feel any pain again, I just wanna feel that stretch. And just I'm just leaning into it, kind of keeping my chest up here and leaning forward into the stretch. I'm so bad at, at stretching, I don't. I would never take, we never take the time to do it. Yeah, we're totally guilty. This is, this is a good exercise for me, for myself. Um, and I just switch sides. And this is also getting some lower back stretch, a uh, good lower back stretch yep. as well. If you bend that knee upward and then lean into it a little more, you'll get, you'll dig more into that low back. And then another good stretch to do for your legs, and I'm just gonna hold on to the handle here, and I'm, I'm gonna just uh, hold my, it's really hard to see, I'm assuming, but um, uh, holding the front of my foot let's see that. so that I'm getting that quad stretch. This is one of my favorites. And um, I'm opening up the hips really getting some good hip and quad stretch. And I'm gonna switch to the other side. And again, you know, good holding it for 30 seconds in the water is a great amount of time to be holding these stretches. And again, just holding them, not bouncing or, or moving while you're holding the stretching. And another one of my favorites is a calf stretch. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do it in this swim spa. Um, if you're tall enough and you can um, just kind of put your calves up on the one of the steps. Um, we can kind of see it. Yeah, this is one. This one's hard, but just like you would on the on the ground where you yep. kind of just. Um, so you see see how she is hanging. Her, her heel off, so she's on the ball of her foot on the edge and then she's stretching down. Uh, you can see it. Okay, yep. so just, I'm just putting, I have my tippy toes on the step and yep. my heels down below the step. And I'm just holding that. And then you can also do standing up on yep. your tippy toes as well. So those are some good stretches to do in the swim spa. And again, if you have any other questions about any other stretching, please ask and uh, if you have any suggestions too, post them in the comments. Okay, so now, all right, now we're gonna go to the therapy cove. We are gonna hit, uh, let's see, neck and shoulder jets. And then on the end, um, we're actually, our light switches for the whole place are right there. We're gonna turn the waterfalls and the lights on in the dark so you can how freaking awesome this thing lights up. Um, it's also just really relaxing. It is, with the it is. And the but if you, if you could try to imagine, you know, we're trying to come up with a sequence of, of things here. So you come in here and you, you hit some exercise. Afterwards, you cool down with some stretches or if swim first, whatever it is. And, you know, you don't always have to train super, super duper hard. You, you know, you can just relax. You don't have to always go for it. You know, even we, a lot of our training is often not super intense. It's just, you know, low zone and, uh, and then go from there. And then, you know, then stretch for a while, then turn the jets on, get a massage and then sit and relax in the nice water with the lights on in the dark. It's, it's pretty fantastic when I will get oohs and ahs when we turn these lights down, Jay Jarden. And then, uh, you know, it just looks absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to pass this to Mary and then we're going to go to the therapy cove first. Okay. okay. So the therapy cove are the jets and they're standing up, okay? 
there's one side that has that. I'm going to pass this phone to you. I'm going to go turn these on. Okay. So this is a Challenger. The Challenger and the H2Xs are a little bit different, but we're going to slide those on for you right now. What button did you press? Uh, VSP2. So in the Challenger, the VSP2 button. Uh, they're, they're never going to remember that. <laughs> okay. I'm going to hop over here. So now in the Challenger. I agree, Master Spas, Polska. It's a really great place. The, the Bear Pico, Pico, yeah. yeah. Awesome. People are always crazy. So in, uh, like I said, in, in the Challenger, we don't ever expect anyone to remember which button it is, but there's only three buttons on the Challenger. It can only be one of them. So it's VSP2. Uh, if you want to try to remember it, we know you're not going to. And that's going to come out of this therapy code. And then you've got the diverter valves that take it from here up to the front swim. Now, the thing that's different and notable in the Challenger is that the VSP, variable speed drive, variable speed, you know, speed pump, you have one through 25 settings, so you can really dial it in. But in addition to that, every jet that, that we make, you can turn the jet up and down. And, and these are underwater, you can't see that, but we'll show you that later. So in this therapy code, you can put your, and it, it, you can see me, I'm putting my feet out, it, it's pushing. You can get your entire back in it, okay? You can turn around, get your front, get your quads. You can stand up. All of your quads, your knees, everything. You can get all that stuff because there's no there's no seat in any hot tub for the front. And that's what the therapy tub is for. Your hip, your hip flexors. Are you ready? Hands, hands and on. hands and the wrists in oh, there. I thought you were telling me to keep my hands no. out of the water. They're wet. I'm going to have to use a towel. Okay? So that's the therapy code. So it works fantastic. You're standing up. You can just drape your arms over the side. Let that get your quads, your knees. People always, you know, come into... You know, look at our hot tubs and our products and say, well, I've got bad knees. Well, if, if you're sitting on a, on a lounge or a seat that has jets underneath it that feels great on your knees, this can get on the front. That's the difference on the therapy code. You can put a jet to places where you can't in a hot tub. All right. So now, coming over here. Someone just asked, and, and we did answer that this unit does not have a treadmill in it. Right. So on the treadmill... Um, you can add a treadmill to a hot tub. They make different kinds, all different things. Or a swim spa. Um, or a swim spa, rather. I'm not a super fan, so, and these are my reasons why. Um, first of all, you have a mechanical device living underwater. Water never really loses a fight, so why fight? Next, it gets in the way of all the other stuff that we use the swim spa for, so I'm not a super fan of it. Um, I know there are people who love them, and that's fine. Um, I run in place, and we're, we'll probably have a live on just for runners at some point. I can run in place on this soft tread with no rubber shoes on of any kind, no, no you know, uh, treadmill under there, and I can achieve my marathon heart rate with nothing going on there. So I don't, I don't particularly believe that I need one. So, and I can either run and focus on a four-foot strike and lean forward and try to kick my butt with my heels, or I can bring my knees to the top of the water and you can get out of breath beyond. So the water gives plenty of resistance. And I feel like a lot of the things that we're doing in here would be limited by having a treadmill. Yeah, that's that's probably that's probably my biggest I don't like. It. So all right. VSP one. So these are the neck and shoulders. Now if you look here, we keep our swim spot. Uh, I just topped it off the other day, so this is about as high as you get. Uh, for the neck and shoulder use, I would actually a little bit less water, so you have them out a, a little bit more. They're, they're called out of water neck and shoulder jets, although ours are currently underwater. So I'm going to turn those on. And you can hear them ramping up right now. So this whole seat is on. And you've got calf jets, angle jets, hip jets. All twilight level hip jets. There you go. Top to bottom. Fantastic. You know, that feels really good. <laughs> I'm going to need a minute. 
and you just sit in there and soak it up. So you got your, your workout, you got your stretches, you got your therapy code, you got your neck and shoulder jets, you have a whole other seat over there. That's sort of a normal seat. These ones are weird, that one's sort of normal. All right. Okay. I'm gonna shut that off. Do you have any more questions? Not yet. Hi, Cindy. Cindy. Cindy Driver. Cindy Driver. Hi, Cindy Driver. She's jealous right now. Oh, it's not that great. <laughs> it's pretty great. All right. So, now, any, let's, let's swing it around. Let me draw it. Stupid hand Let's Swing it around. There we go. Okay. Do do, but you have nice work. <laughs> yes, we have nice work. Oh, my arms aren't long enough here. So, okay, next thing I'm going to do, I want to do a wrap up. Any questions for us? We highlighted exercises, a couple of the, the pieces of equipment, uh, the dumbbells, the rowing kit. We did some stretches. Yep. Um, kind of whole body stretches. If you follow those in, in that sequence, it hits your whole body. And then we went over the therapy cove, and then we went over the neck and shoulder seat and uh, how you can divert the water. Someone wanted to see the current. You know what? Let's We'll turn the current on for you right now. So I'm actually gonna, you wanna hold this on that and I'll turn it on? Okay. So now you're gonna have to stand. Take that. Take the Take phone. phone. All right. So now come in the back in the middle and stand up so you can see the current and I'll turn it on. You can't stand up because it'll blow you over. Now the challenger has two pads, so we've got another one down here. Nancy, hurry home so you can use yours. No, only one person can swim at a time, Steve. Oh boy. <laughs> now they're up to full speed. So that's why I put there in the back. The challenge are moving quite a bit of water. Uh, Sorry. Awesome. Okay. I'm sitting up on the back, so bear with me. Actually, I'll swing it around if I can get it further away. Just to give you an idea. Robert! Pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. The only thing that would make this a little bit better is a nice quiet. Yes, which we can't do because Facebook will shut the video off. So that's why we didn't play any copyrighted music. But the waterfalls with lights in them, all the lights moving around, fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. No, we do realize we are very, very fortunate here. Uh, this is not a Phelps spa. This is a H2X Challenger 15. Okay, Amanda? You want to swing those lights on? All right. We're going to put the lights back on. Wow. Okay. All right. Just for the noise. All right, there we go. Oh, still, still a little, still a little current on there. There we go. Okay, so 
that wraps us up unless anyone has any more questions and we can hit those right now and as you know we will always uh, hit the questions afterwards I know I, I said this last time I want to say it again uh, master spas is continuing to ship product that's built and our dealers are installing um, I don't know of too many dealers that can't install right now so if you're if you're ready for something let us know and uh, and we're ready to come and, and help you out all right so uh, that's it thank you for joining us thank you that thing is still pushing a lot can you see the water I'm what's like yes. shoving me over uh, so anyway we'll be back in a week we'll see you then and I have no idea what the live can you swim I've been thinking about getting one boring but I'm not going to be able to fully swim oh oh you'll be able to swim fully um, we don't have our, our swim caps on but there's tons of video of our pro triathletes um, everything we do not use a swim tether in here Adam it swims fantastic Okay, this there is... are some previous Facebook lives right, with, right. with swimming Actu highlighted. Actually, Adam, if you go back in the Master Spas uh, Facebook page and you look at the live videos that we've posted, it was last year we did a how to swim in a swim spa. Um, it was myself and uh, one of our reps, um, Mike, Michael Wright, and uh, who, <laughs> you know, he's sitting in Florida smiling right now. And... Uh, so we did a whole thing on, on, on how to use the, the swim tools, the toys, and how to swim in a swim spa and what it's like. So catch that. And um, obviously your faster swim spas are, are much more made for uh, swimming, you know, and we do not use swim tethers. We're not fans. Okay? So that's it. We will catch you guys in a week. Thank you for joining us. I hope I answered everything. And if I didn't, hit us again. We'll answer. Absolutely. <laughs> there he is, Mike Wright. <laughs> Mike Wright, everybody. All right. So we'll see you uh, in a week. Thanks for joining us. Bye, everyone. Ciao.